Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you once again on the ZX Spectrum 128K. My name is Nick, it's Homebrew Wednesday, at time this is going up, and this game is called A Mutant Mushrooms, published by the Death Squad in 2024. I haven't published, still haven't reviewed a great deal from the Death Squad up to this sort of point. Uh, there was a, like, a programming learning sort of like game called Horace Ghost Night Scheme, which you might have seen, but this is a proper game, and this music sounds pretty cool. Now what I can make out, it's over single screen action, over different levels, and you must shoot a load of mushrooms without getting hit or them depleting your energy. Your cat's been stolen by that thing. I need to get your cat back. So I'm that white square thing going around. Uh, we need to shoot all the mushrooms without getting hit by the enemy. Now, uh, we've got a time ticker down in the bottom left. That goes to zero, we've had it. Next to that, slightly right, is magenta. I find it hard to line up with these mushrooms. Uh, yes, the magenta bar is your energy. Each contact with one of the Nazis trying to get to you will deplete that a little bit. And right to that is your lives. And then uh, some sort of score. That's your score. Right, okay, good. Now, this is moving good. Uh, the enemies have got a lot of character in them, so I'm a big fan of that. Uh, there's a few secrets to find, I think, in this game as well, but uh, it's jolly good fun, first of all. I'm just shooting as I can do. Uh, hopefully I don't run out of time before getting the uh, mushrooms. So there's probably a tactic here which hopefully I get. Now, this is my first go on the thing, uh, so it won't be expert gameplay. Just see how the thing plays and is it worth getting. At the moment, it is worth getting, I would say. There's a lot of fun going on, and there's a hell of a lot of stuff moving Yay, there's a hell of a lot of stuff moving on the screen at the same time. Right, here we go. The mushrooms remind me a little bit of those mushrooms out of the classic arcade game Centipede. This is a bit more advanced than that. No Centipede to destroy it. This time we've got to destroy the mushrooms. Uh, the enemy AI is pretty good. It's homing in on you. So try and use the mushrooms strategically to block them to shoot the ones that you definitely need. Easy to get into. Just up, down, left and right and fire. That's all you need to do and it's just maneuver yourself around the obstacles uh, shoot all the stuff. This is highly addictive. Now, we aim the reviews to be about 10 minutes long, but quite often is the case if I'm enjoying it, it'll go on a bit longer to a point where I've run out of energy, to a point where it's just a stupid length of the review. I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be a stupid length because this game is so, so much fun. Right, I've got off the first level. I'm on level two. You can see that in the top middle in yellow. It says the number two. These are supposed to be magic mushrooms, and I'm trying to get my cat back. If you're currently trying to get your cat back or in a magic mushroom situation, then comment in the comment section below. You're probably not seeing this video quite how you're supposed to see it. Stay away from mushrooms. Some kill you, some make you do hallucinations, and some you find on a pizza. The ones on the pizza are probably okay. Unless it's a pizza in the woods and you're not sure the pizza is there or not, and it's 10 feet in the sky and you're chasing it, then it'll probably say it's gone a bit wrong. Right, here we go. There's a blue sort of like crab chasing me around the place, and I've got an extra life. One up. Good arcade quality on this. Another one, 2024. Uh, if this had come out back in the day, uh, then it would have been a big hit. But I love the way this has been programmed. It's something slightly different. Um, the homebrew scene seems to be mostly uh, planted with um, platformers due to ATD and the Jet Set Willy editors. Uh, but this is original uh, by someone who knows what they're doing. You can turn the music off as well by the looks of things. Hmm, I think I prefer it with the music on. Right, go, unless that just stops. I think you press M to change the music on and off. Energy's not looking too bad. Uh, it's generous with the lives as well. Uh, movement is a little bit tricky to get directly in line with the mushrooms, but that's where it gets an extra bit of the challenge. No energy, I'm gone again. I think I will have at least one other go on this one. Now, we tend to review a homebrew every Wednesday, and on Saturdays, a couple of the classic games in the classic era. If you want to see more reviews, we've done quite a few. Everyone that's been on the channel for a while knows they're all there. I doubt if anyone's watched all of them. Uh, but, you know, if you want to check the playlist out, see what's gone before, uh, there's a link to ZX Spectrum games in the description, but you can also get there if you want to see other ones as well. You also get there by clicking on my username, it takes you to the channel page. Uh, and then uh, click on the playlist tab. The set expression will be there along with a load of other systems if you're into them as well. Right, okay. I'm part of my thumb's aching a little bit pummeling on this uh, fire bus. It, it might be better if I just hold it down. Right, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh my goodness. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Yay, next round, please. This is very addictive. I'm liking this. Right, there's a creature in the middle. I don't really want to get near him. I'm loving the enemies on this with their big eyes. It reminds me a little bit. I don't know if the, the Death Squad were big fans of shows like The Trap Door back in the day. The graphics remind me a little bit like that. And it, you could easily see Burke and Boney on the screen as well. This would have been a great Trap Door sort of game. Anyway, I like it. I'm a big fan of this. I like the border as well. Uh, it goes blue, white, red, white, blue. And uh, a bit of definition there as well. Looks like it's got a bit of dirt on it. And that's what I like. I like a bit of dirt. Kurt, uh, 
blah, 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 blah. I highly recommend this. Uh, you can download it for free, I think, on the site Spectrum uh, Computing. Do check out everything else that Death Squad has done. A few of these games we haven't looked at before previously because of the, uh, the uh, well, the toilet humour on it. But maybe I shouldn't worry because this is supposed to be a PG channel, but they're as good as this. Great, and as I say, I'm a big fan of this one. A pleasure to play, a pleasure to review, and we're just going to go on and on and on with it. Good graphics, good sound, good idea, love the thing. Good. Big ticks from me. Right, 128k too. There's a 48k version as well. Probably play similar, but without the music. Sometimes if you doodle, an extra mushroom will grow in its place to keep you going. Look like up there. Man, caravan. And now all these bugs are in the way, so let's leave them over here. It's doable. It's not cruel. It's a good learning curve. Now, what's going on here? We're on stage four. If you've played this, let me know. Or since, since watching the video, tell me how far you've got on the thing. It's a crazy, crazy game. Uh, one player, but it'd be good to see with another person there. What was that? It was good with another person there to see who could get the furthest. If it had been an arcade game, sitting next to Centipede, it would have a massive hit. You could even call it Centipede 3. There's not a Centipede involved. He's gone on holiday. Right, I think we get those blue blue uh, stars at extra points, I think. But apart from that, nothing much else. Uh, I think the games will get quite evil in later on the stages. See those worms? They've taken up quite a lot of uh, room, so you don't want to get stuck behind a couple of worms. If you are currently stuck behind a couple of worms, then comment in the comment section below. That's not what you want to do, Sue. Oh man. Right, okay. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already to the channel. If you've watched this far uh, in, it helps the thing grow. Recently gone over 5,000 members, so thank you. It is a slow burn. Uh, but with stress busting, that's the main thing. Stupid gameplay, stress busting, nincompoop talk. I will give you some information about the games that I've heard. I won't always be correct, but I'll try to get it correct. Uh, but that's a bit of fun. That's a bit of the slapdash way this channel runs. Hooray! So you don't have to be perfect here. How about that? You don't have to worry about people correcting you. Uh, you know, some people will correct me. But in a fun way. Da -da -da. And I like the information that comes in. Sometimes two people give information in the comment section which conflicts. Uh, we don't have any arguments here though. As I try and shoot mushrooms. Oh man, two blue crabs. Three, well, two snakes and a few other big jigs. And that guy with the odd face in the top left who doesn't know what the hell he's doing in the game. He's, he's walked in here and he thought, what's happening here, big nose? Right, next up, stage six. Now this looks interesting. Look at the amount of stuff moving on the screen here at the same time. Are they all moving at the same time? They're moving individually. I think the idea is here, um, I'm stuck here, is to go down strategically in that ball. Now this, I would say, this is the first of the tricky levels and it's game over, I lost all my lives. And that was the first of the tricky levels where you've got to try and plot your way through. The blue, white and red, that reminds me of the mod symbols, which is pretty good. But I will have another go, which probably means I'm going to overrun hugely. But let's zip in. As I say, if you're playing this, don't fire individually. Keep your finger on the fire button all the time. Don't let, it, don't get off of it. So you want rapid fire. You can't shoot the enemy, as far as I'm aware. Unless there's some upgrade I'm not getting. But just concentrate on your mushrooms. Lots of different mushrooms out there. Butter mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. Watch how you pronounce that. Uh, put your favourite mushroom in the comment section. Right, okay, I'll shoot him for bonus points. 100. So now I'm holding my fire, the, the fire button down. I find it a little bit easier to line up. Just one mushroom left. Only three things after me this time. Biff, and on to stage two. Yes, this is this is a good one to fire up, this one. If you're feeling a bit down, have a bit of fun with this. Blasting everything that you can inside. Uh, it's not overly difficult to understand, but, uh, you know, it's all about outrunning nincompoops and uh, inner forests of mushrooms. And, uh, you know, you're, try you're trying to rid the world of these silly mushrooms, which are probably poisonous. Oh, man. And I don't know why these people are trying to stop you. Perhaps they're, they're mushroom freaks. If you are a mushroom freak, then explain yourself. What freakish mushroom clothes have you got on? What's your favourite song? Oh, look at that. I've been sick over. Not not in real life, just in the game. So that's that bloke's job in the top left, to have be sick over people that are uh, straight too close. It's a job. Someone's got to do it. I, uh, I imagine it was a tough interview. Right, there's some tough jobs out there. I currently work in the supermarket. I, I, don't, I don't have a job where I'm sick over people. Right, go. Go, big nose. I don't make much sense in these. I'm just here for fun. And they do, you know, uh, sue me. Don't, don't sue me if you're watching this. Right, uh, I just want to get as far as I can. At least get to that globe I got stuck on before. I'm, I'm running these lads a merry dance with my cool, cool sweet ass style. Oh man, look, I just want to get that last mushroom, fellas. Go, oh, throw me a bone, will ya? Let's leave him over here. 
lead them around the tree. Oh, these people in the woods really get other friends to play with. Get other friends. Leave me alone. Do 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 do. Bip bip bip. Yay! Thousand points to me, and that's all that's necessary. Right, this thing again. Right, um, it's the cyan wasp grade. Right, get stuff, cyan wasps. Right, can I can only shoot this thing from one side, I think. Biff, 100 points. Good. Tough luck, ladybug. Uh, how far? Oh, I've been eaten by that thing. So, you know, there's some big enemies that you don't want to stray too close to in this game, because then it will eat you or be sick of you. There's some health there. So that's a nice touch as well. The character oozes from this game, like the best cartoon you ever watched as a kid. As I say, it does remind me of Trapdoor, got a lot of fun to it. Um, you know, Trapdoor was a game by Piranha Software. Uh, this wouldn't have set out of, out of step within their game's range if it came out back in the day. Excellent, well done, the Death Squad. I don't think they're a real Death Squad, so don't worry about them going around killing people. Uh, if you are a real dev squad and you made this game, you do go around killing people and uh, comment in the comment section below. Or just a friendly person going around blasting mushrooms. Magenta mushrooms, that's true. I'm not sure what to make of a magenta mushroom. Uh, I'm not sure what it will make you do. Probably fly as high as a kite. But never mind. That's a, it's a good hobby. Better than going to work. Right, one left, no, two left. Another one grew up there. Curse these mushrooms. Right, they're supposed to be one of the oldest life forms on planet Earth, mushrooms. Well, there we go again. I'm well, getting close to where I got to last time. Is this the one where I shot something and they all blew up? Yes. Smart bomb. Smart bomb, Tom. Oh man. I needed a smart bomb that last that last level. Well, maybe. Maybe that le level I got done on before. Maybe there is a smart bomb somewhere buried within the framework that I need to get, and I can just blow them up at my uh, my leisure. I think that is stage five, isn't it? We get to. So the time is going super quick. The video is already over 10 minutes long, I think, so I might have to check back on that, Pat. Right, there's two wiggly worms trying to chase me, but these seem to be easy to outrun at this stage. Mushrooms always seem to be magenta, no different coloured mushrooms are there. So what do you prefer, this homebrew? Maybe unfair. But this homebrew, or the magnificent centipede, or millipede. In fact, the millipede, there was a sequel to centipede or millipede. We reviewed that at least on the Atari 2600. I'd like to see this on other, on other systems, really. Did it come out in the Commodore 64? Only Spectrum, as far as I'm aware, but it would be good to see this attempted on other systems. Bam. Now, I've got a funny feeling that if I stray too close to these funny square faces, I think it might happen to me as well, but nothing happened to me that time. That's a bit of luck. There's Sick Man in the top left. We don't want to go near him. He's got yellow eyes. He's probably eaten too many mushrooms. He's got a big magenta face. Right, so what we've got now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's, there's slightly more things chasing you each time. A bit like in the vein of Horace and the Spiders when you get down to the last level. So it's gradually increasing until there's going to be absolutely a huge amount of people on the screen trying to cramp your sweet ass style. Oh man, right, just need to get, come on. Let's just get two here. One, yes, yes, that's it, just about. Always keep an eye on your energy, and this is it. This is the one I got stuck on before, so there must be a way of getting through here. Blocking all those twits from getting at you. Yeah, that's it. So I'm in the middle now. I've got safety. What's the best way of doing this? There's loads of them. It's like that uh, film Zulu, where they're surrounded by Zulus in that fort with Michael Caine. He's only supposed to blow the doors off. It's a Zulu. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. It's a Zulu. Great impression, Nick. Don't give up the day job. Well, 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 well if I had enough members, I could do. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Work this out. We can work it out. Uh, no, I've let them in like a wally. Why don't I get through there? That, oh, are they going to get in there? No, right, okay. This is sort of how to do it. But, uh, you know, it's a bit like, um, like one of those zombie films, like Dawn of the Dead or Shaun of the Dead, or where the zombies are eventually going to get you. There's just too many of them. Extra life? That doesn't matter, because I'm caught in a trap. That's what Elvis said. And he couldn't break out, because he loved it. Too much, babe. He... No energy. I don't know, I'm not confident. I need to see a walkthrough at this point. This is, oh god, I'm stuck. This is the this is the level I always would have got to if it came out back in the day and would have got stuck on. Yeah, look at that. I'm, my strategy isn't working here. I've only got one life left. Uh, and I think it's Doom, Doomsville, really. Hmm, I need a better weapon. As I say, unless there's a smart bomb hidden in here somewhere to destroy all those people. I mean, it might be on one of them. If you know, then let me know in the comment section below. But as I say, stage six, this is the first of the evil sections. So this is one to be conquered. 
uh, there but uh, it's a newbie on my first go I'm glad to have reached it but this looks like when you need to get a little bit more skillful going on um, no no it's, it's booged it come on Nick but unlimited weapons that's something I've taken out a few of them not to dinner right, hang on, this is good can I get out of here right hang on, just hello maybe uh, energy is not looking good it's flashing and I'm dead and it's game over well I really like this game magnificent I'm not sure if it's influenced by centipede but it's a different game in its own right I do like the shooting of the mushrooms and you know music very addictive gameplay and fair gameplay and exciting to watch great presentation here so I always like to have a look at that game I love the thing well done to the Dev squad that was mutant mushrooms on the select spectrum 128k published by the Dev squad in 2024 when it comes out this game similar games any fit homebrew or ZX spectrum then put that in the comment section below you're more than welcome until next time take great 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 care of yourself and a very fond Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. I've been sick over. Not not in real life, just in the game. So that's that bloke's job in the top left, to have be sick over people that are straight too close.